welcome to the sound test room hope you are all well this evening okay so today in drambo we are going to make a track from scratch so we're going to ignore this one but we're going to basically copy what i've just done to start this thing off okay so hopefully by the end of this you'll uh, you'll be able to go to drambo and make your own song so nothing too complicated i'm going to keep this pretty simple um i'm gonna say hello to everybody who's here in the uh, chat at the moment as well so hi steven hi paul meerkat music yes nam does start tomorrow doesn't it yeah uh, lady aptitude nice to see you uh colin hello joe joe the other joe joe darrow uh sam and dave and whoever else ignacio and hi russ lovely lovely to see you here um yes yeah, so brilliant top job cool beans what we're going to do first thing right you open trambo but we're going to go to this little toaster icon here and select new and we're going to choose eight tracks midi to cv and i'm going to try and use as much stuff that's included in drambo um as possible apart from i'm going to use fac chorus and i may use some other bits and pieces but i don't want to go too quick here i want to keep this pretty straightforward so first of all i want to add fac drum kit because i want to use that for the drums okay so I hit this little plus icon here and we want to be make sure we're in generator audio unit instruments i'm going to tap on the little toaster and i'm going to search for fac drum kit and there it is now i am going to add a compressor i'm going to add a smooth smooth compressor it's free from the app source by klm audio because i will show you the output from drambo is a little quiet so i like to boost certain things all right so we're going to open fac drum kit and go to the page where we can sort of uh, audition our sounds here i'm gonna make sure i'm on my midi keyboard so and i'm gonna go to drum bank number four change the view back here now if you want to open um fac full screen hit this little red thing here and we can kind of move it around and then you can go and actually um make this bigger and stuff like that so uh let's see we can drag down here and make it larger and then you can make any adjustments you like but i'm gonna stick just stick with this drum bank number four so where are we here i i'm gonna put in four bars so i want this to be four bars long so i'm going to tap this little icon here and i'm just going to times two until i reach four bars then all i'm going to do is literally i'm just going to play in this kick as it's going along and i'll leave the tempo on 120 as well so i'm going to hit record and if i hit record first this will give me a four bar counting and i can just put my kick in so we're going to do that Missed the first one, so I'll catch you on the way around. Okay. Bit off there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna clear this actually and do it again. So what I could do to be fair is I could just literally that's all right there. I could just put in the extra kicks, make sure I'm on the beat here. And so on, 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 on. Oh, off there a little bit. So put them back in. So now we've got a basic four on the floor across all these four bars. And now I'm going to add the compressor. What is going on here? There we go. 
to now we're on. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to add in a compressor now to make this a little bit louder. So this time, I'll stop this. This time I'm going to go to audio unit extension and processor, audio unit processor. Okay, and I'm going to search for smooth. And like I said, I'm not actually smooth is not free. It's I think it's 499, but I, I can't remember. But anyway, let's play this and make this a little bit louder. Okay, that's cool. And that will do for our very first, our first pattern. So now I'm going to just stop this. And then I'm going to go to track number two. And I'm going to add in the instrument that was playing that like, uh, like sound, which is part of Drambo. So hit this plus button, go to generator. And here where it says instrument rack, I want to tap this. I'm going to go down to factory. I'm going to go down to instruments and I'm going to choose it. It's called April pluck. Okay. And it sounds like that. And that's all I'm going to do. So, and I'm going to make some adjustments to the sounds of this instrument. So. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself a four bar counter. I'm going to set this to maybe two bars. So times two, because it's very simple. I don't need any more than four bars with this particular pattern sort of thing. So if I play, if I give myself a counting now, so. Done deal. I'm going to play around a little bit with the instrument so particularly the delay I'm going to set the delay length you might be able to see it says three at the moment I'm going to set it to six increase the feedback on the wet mix cut off maybe for the delay and then I'm going to adjust the filter a tiny bit. And I'm also going to increase the saturation amount here. Go to the main. So that's the that's the basically the beginning of the track. So now we want to add another section in. So we're going to tap on here and we can see our matrix now. Several ways we can do this. We can kind of lower this down a little bit now as well and see it here. But for all intensive purposes, if I play, this is the first section. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this. So I have two of them and I'm going to select section number two and it's flash in and I'll join in. Now here where it says loop, this means that this section will now continually loop while I do work on it. The thing underneath the time button means that it will wait. If I swap bar, if I swap back scenes again, it will wait for the next bar to carry on. It wait till one scene is completed before it swaps back. This is really important. If this time button is on and you've built up a load of scenes, it'll just immediately jump. However, if the time button is on, it will wait. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start to add more stuff to the drums. So we can go back to track one, which we know is our FHC. We're on scene two, but we can add stuff now to. Stuff to the drums. So we don't need to be worrying about even seeing our, our sequencing now. We can just start playing with these drums. I'm just going to play it. So I'm going to give myself a, I'm going to give a little bit of a.
So that's nice, that's built up that a little bit. Let's have a look at our matrix view now. So let's duplicate this. Add in a snare and we can add in another instrument now as well so so let's see so. Now I could if I wanted to add this instrument in as a completely, di add this snare in as a completely different instrument, so maybe one from actual Drambo, but I think I'll just stick with that one for now, it'll be fine, maybe lower the, lower the actual pitch on it a little bit. Um, So I'm just going to put in a, a snare now, so... And because now I'm on my third scene, I'm going to add another instrument to the rack. So there's our pluck, I'm going to go in now and add maybe some... Uh, some sort of pad sound or something. Okay, so open this and I'll try an instrument rack one, which is that part of Drambo. So we can open this. We can go down to factory and instruments and maybe. That's the one we just used. What I'm going to do initially is I'm just going to change the voices to six so I can, I can play a chord. Let's go and just want to see what we've got going on. So instruments. I like that. That's very cool. But not that loud, obviously, so we're going to turn the volume down for this. So let's see. Let's open up our mixer. This is some extra bass reinforcement actually, so. Turn up a little bit. So let's have a mess, see what we can come up with. I 
you need to set these bars to maybe four bars, let's see. Echo Opera is here. Hello, Echo Opera. You should definitely go and subscribe to Echo Opera as well, who's much better at Drambo than I am. <laughs> Hi, Todd. Maybe we can add a little bit more drums here, so... instrument to the drum track let's go to track number four we can add more tracks as well but we'll just stick with the eight we've got <clears throat> okay so let's see what we can add now um yeah okay so again i'll stick with the instrument rack if possible go down to factory and instruments and see what we've got going on what's this <laughs> That's, that's a cool sound. I'm going to use that. So. sound for track four we can adjust our mix whenever you know let's just uh so don't think we need to add any more effects to this Maybe a tiny bit. Okay, sounds okay. Let's see what it. Let's give it some. Let's give it at least four bars. So, I like to lock myself in.
Okay, so, <coughs> excuse me. Okay, let's add another instrument. Okay, so we'll track five. <coughs> excuse me. Track five, track five, track five. I feel, I don't know. Um, I want, yeah, chord, chord. I want something chordy. I want something chordy. I think maybe this time I will use an AU and pick something that's going to give me some nice pad sounds so uh let's see let's see let's see um i'll i'll, I'll see when well, i see one i'll know i mean pretty much anything will give us a give us decent pad sounds so hillman let's go with hillman because that is kind of designed for nice pads so again i'm going to let me just go into hillman itself Make it a bit bigger. Yeah. Oh yes. See, I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to. I could either. Just... Yeah. 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 I think that sounds nice, but I am going to give it a little bit of compression. So I think we'll use smooth again. And I, I think what might sound nice with this is the FDN. So FDN is a feedback delay network and it's in processor and you go to processor rack here, I think. Oops, no, it's, it's in processor and you scroll down till you see effects and then you will see FDN. And now... The idea is just let's see how it sounds if I play play some chords with it. Um need at least four bars. That's nice. The that the feedback delay is giving that kind of like. That like kind of resonant vibe to it at the end. Let's just record that. It sounds OK. This one now I'm gonna I'm gonna take some stuff out 
So I'm going to hold and actually I'm just going to hold. How do I do this now? Um, can't remember how I how do I get my mm, swipe up thanks brilliant cheers thanks echo opera you see I forget this stuff it's me age it's what I'm telling myself anyway so let's have a listen to this Okay, sounds okay. Time for more instruments. Time for another generator. We'll go with instrument rack again, see what we've got a care in. What's in the waves kite stuff? I think <coughs> now this is this is not available in this is not available in there you can get this pack from Guntry I if you look up child of a corn dog play pits uh, on my channel there's a link to where you can actually buy these but I think <laughs> to sound kind of ethereal so processor and I'm just going to add a add in a, um, a reverb a, a, just a basic plate reverb here
advice. Let's just, let's, right. Okay, so just quickly, before I add anything else, if I have time, I'll add something else. I want to show you how you can arrange your mix uh, into into an actual song so you don't have to touch anything you let drambo do the work for you it plays the song you you decide so at the moment we have this on loop if we switch this off what will happen is if we select it, whichever one we're selected on what's going to happen is it's going to play it's going to play through once and then jump to the next track so now it'll go to number two okay you you don't really want that otherwise you can't it's difficult to arrange so what you want to do is make sure of course that loop is switched off you can leave timing on or off of this it, it this actually doesn't matter it will still change to the next track if you just play it let's leave timing on because it regardless doesn't matter what we're going to do is just long hold on here and release and this will give us our options for our song okay like hey flipping neck i'm molting Right, it was probably Watson. Right, okay, so here's the thing. We're gonna long hold on this, get some options, and you see where it says repeats, beats in pattern. You don't you don't worry about this kind of stuff. This is gonna change the speed of the track, but I want it to play as it is, but I want it to play for longer than just one time. So for instance, with this one, the intro part I want it to play for four times because it's I want it to be like a proper track. So then we go to our second one here and long hold on this and we'll have this repeat twice. Okay, before it goes into the third section, we'll have that repeat twice. Okay, then we'll go to the fourth section and maybe have that repeat four times. I don't know. And then we go to the fifth section here, have this repeat twice. And then is that the fifth section I've just done? Yeah. We'll go to the sixth section here and have that repeat maybe four times before it goes into this quieter. Is that the sixth section I've just done? Four times, yeah. And then the seventh section, definitely want that for four times. So it's more like a proper track. And then in this eighth one here, I'm going to have that definitely repeat for four times, but I will end up adding bits and pieces to it, or maybe twice, and then duplicate this and have the duplication number, which is number nine now. That will, and afterwards, we'll play for four times, but there's nothing in extra other than what, what's, in, what's in here now. So it's just the uh, drums and that April pluck again sort of thing anyway. Right, so let's just see. Let's go back to our... Thing. And this is how you kind of do your do your arrangements, if you like. You can move this stuff out of the way so you can see the arrangement. And once we press play now, it should theoretically play properly.
cool about this is, right, if we loop this now, we can work this like a clip launcher. back to looping it let's select a blank a blank uh, thing uh, track and let's see what else we can do let's put one more thing in because it's getting gone time is getting won't there will be no live stream tomorrow evening guys I do apologize uh, Charlotte and George are coming over so uh, yeah we couldn't have an evening, an evening with the kids, an evening with the kids. Yeah. So let's see what, what let's see what we've got. Let's see. Let's generate a, let's some sort of kind of generate a thing. Let's see what we can, let's see what we can do. Uh, so um, the cool stuff you can put like, well, it's got a Euclidean sequence in as well, which is just awesome. But we're getting into the realms of it a little bit more advanced here. Probably even for me, because I'm not like super, super awesome with Drambo. I just I learn what I need to know and then kind of, and then I'm just messing around with other bits and pieces. But let's do this. Let's go, let's try, let's choose another instrument from the instrument rack. Maybe, um, if I got a blinking neck, I've made it. Look, I've made some instruments. Look, that's one of, what's this? Oh, this is one of mine so we'll use one of mine which is a um, kind of a, 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 a proper instrument I made with oh look how many four synth masters and a mixer which has already got a nice load of effects on So this this is quite a, this is quite a nice sound. And we're, I'm gonna need to quickly find something that kind of fits in with this. So um, I'll just play now. I think I'm on my last. Oops, no, I'm not now. I'm on my last track now. Yeah, cool. actually a tutorial on YouTube where I actually built this instrument inside Drambo in fact I, I there is so I like that sound so I'm going to record this as well again I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it four bar limit you can let Drambo record I think it's I, I, up to 16 bars I think Right, so cool. I'll just let it play and then I'll kind of just drop the record in and just play along.
what I'll do before we go, I'll, I'll play this thing, but I'll make some adjustments to the actual sequence. So let's hear it full screen. So <coughs> this first one I had played for, I think was four. We'll have that play for two. Anything that I set to play for four, we'll just change to two. And that's fine. That's on two. And that's on two as well. I think this one might have been a four. Yeah, and we'll put that back to two. Because until you add the ornaments in, you know, like little crashes or effects, etc., it sounds a bit boring if it's going on for too long. So we'll just set that to two. It's this one, two. It's fine. Again, that was four. So, but you see how easy it is to build up a. Um, a sequence in 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 drambo it's really nice that's great so repeats this one wants to repeat twice and this one can repeat eventually this one can repeat we'll leave that repeat four times just for now go back to pattern one and once i press play it'll start guys thank you so so very much for joining me this evening bless you all it's been a pleasure to play with drambo <laughs> and and make a track that actually turned out okay to be fair i, I wanted to keep it as simple as possible um y yes like exactly because it's like it's like like i said it runs a bit like uh gadgets if if you know what i mean but you can do clip launching whereas if you have many many clips going on there yeah you can uh you know you can do that anyway um that's that and um, guys if you like the video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to your channel consider becoming a patron there's still time to make a super chat or do a super sticker to help support me and joe here at the sound test room because we work hard to bring you all this stuff every day anyway bless you all thank you very very much and i will see you later let's just let this thing run remember to take it off loop so it'll run through this thing. If you don't take it off loop here, it'll just continually play the same track. Ta-da! And I will be back with a live stream on Saturday evening. Kenny, bless you. Thanks, Clayton.